All right, so what we're going to try to do here is we're going to take a threaded model here, and we're actually going to try and create physical threads here, because right now that's just a bitmap image, and if we went to 3D print that, it wouldn't work. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is close Inventor out, because I'm going to have to do some, some changes here. And then what I'll do is I'll go to Google, and I'll type in Thread Modeler for Inventor. And the very first thing that pops up should be the Thread Modeler. This is the old one that's from Cool Orange, and it worked, and it supported all the way up to 2020 Inventor. So since then, we've had to do a, a slight modification to make it work. So when we get here, we're just making sure it says Windows, right? And then we hit Download. Now, I'm already signed in. So there it is. You can see it downloaded. We'll click on it now, and it's going to say, let's go ahead and install it. So we'll do that. Now the problem is, is this version, we have to do some modifications to it in order for it to actually work with Inventor 22. So I found this website out here, and I'll, I'll put this link up here for you. Right here, you can type that in, and you can go to this exact same website I'm at right now. This is, this is, does a a really good job of explaining the process of how to go through it. So let's see if we can make that a little bit bigger. So it tells me I need to install the apps and then I need to navigate to this folder here. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna copy that. I'm just gonna go into my Windows Explorer here and paste it in there. And I'm gonna go to that folder, okay? So it says, in Notepad, open the package contents XML. So that's right here. And we're going to, so we'll right click it and we'll say open with, and then I say Notepad. All right, so it's going to tell us, it, it wants us to make some changes. So it says, and edit the string series max IR24 to say this. So let's see. If we can't find series max, which is right here I've already been here we could just go up to edit and say find right we can find it that way so really we just need to change the 24 to a 26 the directions say to save now so we'll say file and save and then we can go ahead and exit that part of it now it says in the content subfolder open the cool orange thread modeler inventor in notepad and we we'll need to change something so here's the content subfolder here is the cool orange thread modeler so I'm gonna right click and say open with uh, and I'll say notepad but I could if it notepad is not an option I can just say more apps and then click notepad but there it is so right here is where it wants us to make that modification in the instructions it says change it from a 25 to a 27 okay so Let's, uh, let's do that. So the 25 is here. I'm just going to change it over to a 27. And it says, go ahead and save that as well. So that's saved now. All right. So now it says, now run Inventor. And then it kind of tells us how to, how to add this thing in there. So let's turn Inventor on. Okay. So we need to go up here. And we need to go to Tools. And we need to say Add-ins. Okay, now we should see cool orange right there. Now, the last time I did this, it was it became automatically blocked. And before I even loaded it up, it gave me an error message saying cool orange is trying to load, but we can't because it's already blocked. So we just needed to unblock it. I tend to load that automatically, or load it, unload it, and then I load it automatically and hit OK. So that's going to solve that. Let's, uh, let's open up a piece that we were working on here. And we will go ahead and thread this like normal. So we'll click and say thread and click OK, right? So there we go. Now the problem is, is that's just a bitmap image, right? That's not physical threads. So now I'm going to go in and I'll say up here at the top, you see it says cool orange now. So I'll click on that and click thread modeler. So when I do this, really all I've got to do now is select the thread over here in the browser bar. So I'm just going to click it. I could change this if I need to, but it should already be set um, to where I was 
based on when I put the threads in originally. So now I should just hit OK. This might take a minute, but then it's going to basically is going to render those up for us. All right. And then that is a physical thread. So those will actually 3D print for us. So here's something I've noticed. Like if, if we get threads and they just don't work, I undo that and I go back in here to thread and I say, you know what, I need to edit that feature. This is really where I'm going to change the thread type. So maybe I got it wrong in here. All right, maybe, maybe I, I needed to change it there. So I hit OK. And now I can go in here back to the cool orange and then say thread modeler. It's the same process. Just click on the threads over here and click OK and it'll thread it for us.